Hi everyone, welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. This is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox, and today we're going to learn how to use the Google Earth Measure tool. Uh, this tool came into play in the summer of uh, 2019. Uh, Google added it into both Google Earth and you can, it's also available in their Google Maps. Uh, it allows you to measure distances and areas on top of the Earth. So yards, meters, miles, nautical miles, you name it. Very handy tool for certain types of stories for journalists. So uh, to access it, go to google.com slash earth or earth.google.com. Either one will get you there. And when you get there, hit the launch earth button and it'll open up the Google Earth for Chrome uh, tool. It'll work in other browsers too, but it performs best in Google Chrome. The major tool has been around for, like I say, about uh, a little over a year and it allows you to measure distances on the surface of the Earth. Um, and the area that I'm calling up right here is uh, an area in Las Vegas, Nevada. You can just uh, type in an area up here and search. Uh, and I typed in Route 91 Harvest Festival. Um, the festival took place at this little area right here. This is the location of the Las Vegas shooting. The gunman was on the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay uh, Hotel. Um, and if I wanted to measure the distance from the base of that hole to the front of the stage or to the back of the staging area back here, I could see how far those distances are and then measure that against uh, the range of his guns to see if, you know, everybody in this area uh, was uh, a potential target. So I can actually measure that uh, in uh, uh, breaking news time uh, and uh, come up with that distance. To do that, click on the little ruler down here. It does not measure angles, but it does measure flat distances. So I can click at the base of the hotel and at the front of the stage, and it defaults to meters, okay? If I go to the pull down menu, I can change it to yards, uh, feet, inches, nautical miles, kilometers, even smoots it has now. Uh, so I can uh, say it's 362 yards, about 360 yards from the, the front of the uh, base of the hotel where he was stationed to the front of that stage. So if I wanted to change that measurement, I can just drag a hold of one end and drag it to the back area, and it's 470 yards from the back of that staging area over to uh, the base of the hotel. And you can be very precise then in your measurements. This would have been very helpful uh, to reporters covering this story in real time. Once they knew what types of guns he had, uh, they knew the range uh, that the uh, guns had, um, they could measure it against this distance here and, and see how many people were actually in danger. Um, it also measures uh, square footage uh, or yardage, mileage. Um, and to do that, I'm gonna go to the uh, National Mall in Washington, D.C. So it'll come in very handy in January of 2017, back when they were arguing over how big the crowd was at the inauguration. Um, anytime you search something, it'll come up with a little 360 here uh, on the National Mall or wherever you've typed in. Uh, to get rid of it, you can either click the X up here on the knowledge graph or go down here and click on 2D down by the globe down here. Let's click on the knowledge graph. And I'll drag over here to the, there's the Washington Monument, there's the front of the mall right there. So if I wanted to measure a, you know uh, area of a, a location, I can click, again click on that little ruler and just click little keyframes. You can be as detailed as you want to be. If you have a lot of turns with it, you can click closer together, but I'm just going to create a rectangle. It gives me square meters. I'm going to change it to square yards. The perimeter is 812 yards. Uh, my uh, area is uh, 23,797 yards. Um, and let's say I knew, you know, two people fit in two, uh, in a square, one square yard. I could do a math calculation, come up with a pretty good uh, estimate of how big that crowd was. It'd be very handy if you're measuring protest crowds, or we use it in Chicago for the Women's March when everyone gathers in uh, Grant Park before they go and march. It's a good way to measure the size of that crowd. So uh, again, you know, you'd have to use a little mathematical formula here if you knew two people uh, fit in every square yard. You know, you could do a little math calculation there and come up, uh, if this was a densely packed area, uh, you could come up with a pretty good crowd estimate, at least more reliable than what the police or uh, event officials often give you for non-ticketed events. So that was all I had with the Google Earth Measure tool. Um, you can find it at google.com slash earth. 
Um, I have other tools on the journalist toolbox. All you have to do is go and look at our uh, environment page. We have a lot of Google Earth well. So uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.